In this video, I'm going to be doing speed tests between the iPhone 11 here on the left and the iPhone 10 on the right. The iPhone 11 just came out a few days ago where I've had the iPhone 10 for a couple of years now. The iPhone 10 is definitely no slouch. It's still super fast. It still blazes through apps. I got the iPhone 11 on launch day and I've been using it for four days now. And I can say that it feels a tiny bit faster maybe. I, I'm noticing a speed difference, especially when I'm unlocking the phone or opening apps, but like I notice it, but I also don't. Like the iPhone 10, even though it's two years old, is still a remarkably fast device. The battery is holding up. It's still at 92% battery health after two years, and it is still an amazing device. So to start out the speed test, let's first open Geekbench here, and we can see exactly what we're working with. So both of these devices are running iOS 13.1. We have the most recent processor, obviously, on the iPhone 11, but the A11 Bionic still works super well on the 10. So I ran Geekbench on both of these devices. We got a single core score on the iPhone 10 at 4234 multi-core 9533, where the iPhone 11 comes in at a single core of 5465 multi-core 13742. So it's definitely an improvement, obviously, in both single core and multi-core on the iPhone 11. But when you're using the phone, I mean, it really doesn't feel, honestly, super different to me. And if you're watching this and you're like, should I get the iPhone 11 Pro versus the iPhone 11? They both have the same exact processors, so there wouldn't really be any difference between the 11 and the 11 Pro if I were doing a speed test such as what I'm doing today. Okay, so first things first, let's just squash all the apps here so we can start fresh. Delete, 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 delete. You can see all the scandalous things that I probably had open before that maybe. All right, so we got all the apps closed on both devices. So let's go ahead and turn off both devices. So let's do a startup test here. Three, two, one. Looks like the iPhone 11 started up just a maybe a second faster than the iPhone 10. And I will say this too about the iPhone 11. Yes, I'm coming from the iPhone 10, which has the OLED screen. Oh, the iPhone 10 actually came up faster than the iPhone 11. That's really interesting. So what I was saying was the iPhone 10 on the right has the OLED display where the iPhone 11 has an IPS LED display. But, you know, I don't really notice a huge difference between the displays until you really look at them side by side. And you can see, yes, on the iPhone 10, there are deeper blacks and brighter whites and the screen is is generally sharper on the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 11 is definitely no slouch. And again, if you don't have devices side by side, you're not going to notice a huge difference in terms of screen quality. The iPhone 11 has a beautiful screen. As you can see, colors render really nicely on it. Okay, so let's do some face ID tests because the iPhone 11 is supposed to be a little bit faster with face ID. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> iPhone 10 didn't even come on. Three, two, one. Swipe up, nope. Damn, the iPhone 11 is really fast. I'll maybe just be doing this kind of weird. That was about tied. Three, two, one. Oh, iPhone 10 was actually faster there. Three, two, one. Both about the same there. Weirdly, they actually seem pretty close and the iPhone 10 is actually holding up pretty well so far iPhone 11 seems a little more responsive in terms of just tapping the screen to wake it. So let's start opening some apps here. Okay, notes. Three, two, one. Definitely faster on the iPhone 11. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. Slightly faster on the iPhone 11, but not a huge deal. They both scroll really fast and both basically look the same. Let's try phone. Three, two, one. Slightly faster on the iPhone 11. Again, not a huge deal though. Phone, three, two, one. Slightly faster again on the iPhone 11. Not by a huge margin though. Let's open up photos. Three, two, one. Kind of faster on the iPhone 11, but really very similar. Scrolling nicely, they both feel very zippy. Let's try photos one more time. Three, two, one. Slightly faster on the iPhone 11. Let's try YouTube. Three, two, one. Oh, looks like the iPhone 10 actually opened up a little bit faster. Interesting. Let's try YouTube one more time. Three, two, one. Looks like iPhone 11. Oh, iPhone 11 opens slightly faster. 
Let's try that one more time because I use YouTube a lot. Three, two, one iPhone 11 opened just barely faster than the iPhone 10. Are you starting to see a pattern here? They're both very, very fast. Let's try podcasts. Three, two, one. iPhone 11 beat the iPhone 10 by maybe two seconds there. Let's try podcasts one more time. Three, two, one. iPhone 11 again, slightly faster. The pattern that I'm seeing is the iPhone 11 is slightly faster than the iPhone 10, but not by you know a dramatic amount, I would say. So if you already have an iPhone 10 and you're like, should I upgrade to the iPhone 11 for a faster processor? Honestly, I don't think you're gonna really notice that much of a difference. Let's try YouTube music. Three, two, one. iPhone 11 is already open. Oh, iPhone 10 actually opened faster, interesting. YouTube music, three, two, one. That time iPhone 11 actually won. Seems like it's really a toss up with a lot of these apps. I don't know if that's an iOS 13 thing because iOS 13 has been kind of buggy. How about Google Play Music? Three, two, one. iPhone 11 is already open. Oh, iPhone 10 actually opened. So iPhone 10 actually rendered out whatever was going on a little bit faster than the iPhone 11, even though the app started opening faster on the 11. Let's try Play Music one more time. Three, two, one. Going, going, going. Wow, they're both going very slowly. Oh, iPhone 11 is open. iPhone 11 wins by about one or two seconds. Not bad. Uh, let's try the New York Times. Three, two, one. iPhone 11 is already open. Looks like iPhone 11 is the winner there. New York Times, one more time. Three, two, one. New York Times almost instant on the iPhone 11. And the iPhone 10 is maybe one second slower. Ooh, impeachment. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yay. Let's see what else here. Let's open the App Store. Three, two, one. Already open on the 11, but iPhone 10 was right behind it. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Already open on the 11. So it looks like the 11 was slightly faster there too. They both scroll really nicely. They both look about the same when you're just scrolling and doing kind of normal stuff. So when you open the step on apps, iPhone 11 is slightly faster when opening all these tabs, but they both look very similar. Let's see, let's open up Compass. Three, two, one. About the same, maybe slightly faster on the iPhone 11. How about Calculator? Three, two, one. Identical. Clock. Three, two, one iPhone 11 slightly faster. Let's try music. Three, two, one. Barely faster on the iPhone 11. Let's try that one more time. Music. Three, two, one. Uh, basically identical. I say basically identical a lot. Maybe I should get a shirt that just says basically identical. Let's open up news. Three, two, one. News is always a little bit slow whenever you open it. So iPhone 11 there was way faster than the iPhone 10. Try that one more time. Three, two, one. Immediate on the iPhone 11, but the iPhone 10 came in maybe a few, maybe like half a second slower. So not bad there. Let's open up uh, Netflix. Three, two, one. Looks like iPhone 11. Oh, iPhone 10 actually opened up a slightly faster there. Let's try that one more time because I know a lot of y'all will be watching Netflix on your phones. Three, two, one. Identical. How about the Hulus? Three, two, one. iPhone 11 is already open. iPhone 10 came out maybe two seconds slower there. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Looks like iPhone 11 won again there by a second or two. Let's try the new Apple TV app. Three, two, one. Looks identical there, actually. Try that one more time. Three, two, one. iPhone 11 opens slightly faster, looks like by a second. Let's open up Safari. Three, two, one. Looked almost identical there. Try that again. Three, two, one. 
looks identical there as well. Let's try opening up a website like New York Times. Three, two, one. Looks like iPhone 11 was slightly faster there, but interestingly, you can see the difference in the screen when you open up just anything on the iPhone 10. Stuff tends to be a little bit bigger, and then on the iPhone 11, because the screen's actually a little bit bigger than the 10, you see more stuff, but the text and stuff is smaller. Let's open up Spotify. Three, two, one. Opens up on the iPhone 11 almost instantly, and then maybe three seconds later, we have the iPhone 10. Spotify, one more time. Three, two, one. Again, iPhone 11 was faster with Spotify. So in conclusion, basically the iPhone 11, yes, it's definitely faster than the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 10 still holds up really well after two years. It still functions as basically a brand new device. It has an awesome camera. It still feels really fast, and I love that it's actually a little bit smaller than the iPhone 11. It's not as heavy. So the iPhone 10 is still a super fast device, and if you're out there thinking, do I need to get the iPhone 11 for a much faster processor? I really don't think you're gonna notice a huge difference between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 10. They're both super fast and they definitely get the job done. The iPhone 11 is definitely a very impressive device, especially with its camera. And if you look on my channel, I have other content where I shot sample vlogs and stuff with the iPhone 11, so be sure to check those out. I'll link those in the description. But what do you think? Are you gonna upgrade to the iPhone 11 if you already have an iPhone 10? Do you think it's worth the upgrade? Do you think it's worth spending another $800, $900 on a new device just to get about almost the same speed on everything, maybe slightly faster? I think you're gonna notice more of a difference if you're rendering out like a video or something or doing more graphics intensive games and stuff. Speaking of games, let's open up one game here. Three, two, one. It's a little faster on the iPhone 11 there. And it looks like they opened up almost at the same time, actually, but iPhone 11 was a little bit faster. Let's try one more game here, Pocket Ball. Love this game. It's so fun. Opening up a little faster on the 11. All right, iPhone 11 is open. iPhone 10 right behind it by about a second or two. Still not that much of a difference. So anyway, yeah, there's, there's not a huge difference in terms of speed. The, obviously the processor is two years newer, but the better processor on the iPhone 11 will get you better battery life. So let me know in the comments what you think. Are you gonna stay with the iPhone 10 or are you gonna upgrade to the iPhone 11? Do you think it's even worth it to upgrade your phone every two years or even every one year or every three years? Personally, I really like the iPhone 11 so far, but I still love the iPhone 10. It has a soft spot in my heart. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Add me on Instagram, at B3NAQUA. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.